Okay, well, I'm checking out this game, Winds of Trade. Um, I'm gonna be Blind Raven Enterprises. Oh, my first, <laughs> the Black Betha. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. That's a uh, Song of Ice and Fire reference right there. Um, Black Betha, of course, is the ship belonging to uh, Sir Davos Seaworth, as I recall. <laughs> So what kind of ship do I want? Uh, I don't for my first ship. I don't know. Do I want to? I want to go with a schooner, maybe. Um, not as much cargo capacity, but high speed. Um, that way, if I want to do any smuggling or anything. Oh, victory condition. Um, I think I'm just going to do a sandbox. Just kind of check the game out. Get a feel for it, you know? No need for a, a victory condition my first time. Just have fun with it. Um, so this is, you know, a, a trading game. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's creating me a world here. We must free ourselves of the hope that the sea will ever rest. We must learn to sail in high winds. Aristotle Onassis. Okay. Well, that's that's a very deep quote. And, uh... <laughs> I suppose I'll get back to you. Uh, well, actually, these, these, these are kind of... Anyway, I suppose I'll get back to you when the world has finished generating. Okay, so here we are. Um... We're at Caralps, it looks like it's called. And uh, I'm just kind of getting a feel for the controls. So I guess I click on them. Um, and I don't know, really. Trade office. Okay, I have a trade office here, apparently. That's what that's for. Um, do I, I need these people? Do I need a new captain? Do I already have a captain? Um, I don't know. My ships, let's take a look at my ships. Um, Black Betha. Schooner. I think I don't have a captain, maybe? I don't see one listed anywhere, so I guess it's time to uh, to hire me one. So let's take a look at the tavern. Um, Robert Mitchell's a smuggler, which looks kind of expensive. Uh, he's faster, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and go for the more expensive smuggler. There we go. Um, can I get... What kind of upgrades can I get for the Black Betha? Um... I already have those black, those cotton sails installed. Okily dokily. So now how do I assign this captain to this ship? Uh... Oh, assign him here. Yes, assign him to the Black Betha. Good. We have some industries here. Um, but I don't really know. Let's just look at the warehouse. See, uh, so they sell clothes for two sixty-seven, cotton for twenty-six, fabric for one forty. Okay, so kind of keep those in mind, and go to another. Uh, town. Still haven't quite figured out how to... Is that Q and E to rotate? Yes. Okay. So do I just click somewhere to go there? I gotta unpause it. Okay, so now I'm at this new place. Um, open a trade office? 
there. That'll let me do that. Okay. So, what can I do now? How do I do things? How do I know how much that that costs? I thought now that I had a trade office, it would let me know these things. Maybe I need to go to... Oh, presumably I have to have my ship go there as a thing, right? Because that's not like... Okay, so I select the ship. And right-click? Yeah, okay. There we go. Now we'll find out how much things cost there. Maybe. And take a look, sugar, so... Sugar here is 32. Sugar here is also 32. Um... There's kind of, like, a lot of going back and forth here I'm not a fan of. Like, there's gotta be some more efficient way to do that that I just don't know. Well, I guess I'll just kind of sail on and learn- get more trade offices in more places and learn what the dealio is. Like here- oh, here sugar is 41. So, I think that's more than sugar is in the other places. So I could turn a profit. Neat, neat. I like turning profits. I like money. Yeah, so buy as much sugar as I can. Not very much. Um... Oops. Sugar here is also cheaper. So I'll stop by here and pick some up. There we go. And then take it to this town and hopefully make me a nice little profit. My first profit. Not a huge one, but kind of learning the ropes. So sail over, do to do, and how do I sell? Right, sell all. Yay, money! Didn't really make all that much, I bet. But hey, you know that's kind of. I'm just learning how the game works, and it seems like it's got some potential. Let's sail over to Ngamba, maybe. See what their situation is. Oh, there's a goods prices thing here, so I can... see in different places... what kind of uh, stuff there is. Okay. Neat. And cities. That's neat too. Ngamba, what's your dealio? Uh, open a trade office? Oh! Hey, you give me some of the money back for that. Cool. Ooh, there's a bunch of sugar here for. 31 a pop. Isn't that... Yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to buy as much sugar as I can and take that over here. Let's speed up a little bit and then slow it back down. And 
now go into here and sell it all. <laughs> Profit. So now I just kind of want to keep doing that as a uh, repeated thing for the moment. That's a nice easy trade route. Unless I can find somewhere that has even that's willing to pay even more for sugar. Or willing to sell it for even less. Like let's kind of explore their town down here as well, because, you know. It's good to see. Oh yeah, they'll buy it for expensive too. So that's a much shorter uh, trade route that accomplishes the same thing. So I've spent like, oh, now they're not buying it for as much as I thought. But it's a shorter trade route, so it still might be worthwhile. Just to... Uh... Oh, time doesn't pass while I'm looking at the city like that. So, buy max. Now, how much would it sell for here? Because I was looking at the buy price, but... So maybe... Opening so many trade offices is not the ideal. Okay, so I still make a slight profit that way, but it's a much shorter journey. I wonder if that's worth it. Or if I should go the longer. I guess I could math it out. It's probably better to actually get the good... the bigger sale here. So this game looks like it has some potential. Um... It, would, it, could, it could do with a bit of a tutorial for, you know, those of us who don't instantly know everything about the game. But, you know, it's, it's not horribly unintuitive. See, I do want to find a route that's going to make me more money eventually. But I'll worry about, that, worry about that in the next episode. Maybe I'll even do a bit of a time skip and just play around. I don't know, we'll see. But... You'll find out in the next episode. Thank you for watching and have a good day.